Well, now, Janet Lee and Blake Edwards shared uh, a peculiar talent, not filmmaking, but for clumsiness, uh, really, is what it was. Janet was uh, fairly simple. She used to bump into things a lot. She'd always stub her toe. But Edwards, he really won the prize. He used to fall over everything. Early in his career, he was at a swimming party, and he took a running leap towards a pool, and he overshot the water and landed on the concrete. Uh, this is the kind of guy he was, and he did it all the time. During the shooting of Perfect Furlough, Curtis and Lee were standing by one day, and they were talking to some friends or visitors who were on the set. And uh, suddenly they heard this scream from over there someplace, and a lot of commotion. And when they were asked by the guests what had happened, Tony and Janet uh, said, well, it's probably Blake falling down. Very matter-of-factly, they said this. Well, the guests thought it was some kind of a joke. But then it was announced that a heavy crane wheel had run over Blake Edwards' foot. Uh, for Blake Edwards, things like that were kind of par for the course. Fortunately, he wasn't hurt, but it was always an event when you shot a movie with Blake Edwards to see if he would survive the whole thing. Now this. Next on AMC, Orson Welles and Tyrone Power star in Henry Hathaway's dynamic adventure classic, The Black Rose. Next on AMC. In the wide world of motion pictures, they were specialists. And comedy was their craft. From generation to generation, they've handed down their time-tested tools. Nah. The one-liner. Wouldn't it be much simpler to call a cab, Mom? The misdirection. This knows a big shot. You heard what the waiter told us. Everybody knows him. He's a philanthropist. I don't care who he votes for. I want my money. And the good old-fashioned pratfall. <laughs> Either alone or in a team, they all shared a common goal, to give us a good laugh. Now, AMC salutes Hollywood's comic kings and queens with an exclusive weekly series, Comedy Classics. Next time on Comedy Classics, Carol Lombard stars in this classic tale of a woman who's living on borrowed time. Or is she? Frederick March co-stars in Nothing Sacred on the next Comedy Classics, Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern, only on AMC. This is WN in Pittsburgh. The time is 2 p.m. Why ain't you wearing no gun, Shiloh? When radio entertained a nation, what went on the air wasn't nearly as exciting as what went on off the air. Where is my script? Mr. Giannetti's running a little late. Mr. Giannetti's running a little distillery. Remember when? AMC's new original series premieres Saturday, January 13th at 9 Eastern, only on AMC. Remember when? It's the best radio you'll see on TV. Once upon a time, there was a prince. He was handsome, oh, very handsome. And he was rich, oh, very rich. But he was lonely, oh, very lonely. Then one day, this lonely prince met a showgirl. She wasn't rich, but uh, she wasn't lonely either. And the prince thought it would be rather nice to have the showgirl up to his apartment to, uh, well, uh, to have a midnight supper and uh, maybe look over his etchings. That was the way he wrote the script. But this little showgirl had a few ideas of her own. What are words? Where deeds can say so much more. <laughs> that is terrible. You made a pass and I turned a dog. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to fall in love with you. Because I always, always do. Always? Hmm. Both times. So, you better watch out. You better watch out. <laughs> the Queen Dowager, that's your mother? Your mother-in-law. Oh, that's worse. You, 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 you want me to hide, won't you? <laughs> um, where? Uh, in there? I love you. I love you. Oh, gosh, your Grand Duke of Highness, how I love you. <laughs> Oh, 
AMC presents an exclusive original series that captures the magic and nostalgia of ballroom dancing. I feel so good when I'm dancing, I, I, I wake into it like a trance. I like it. It's really a form of expression. Step into the dance hall and see the classic art form that's inspiring a new generation. Gotta Dance, Monday on AMC. The American West, a place of beauty, a time of danger, where men preferred action over words. Get on your horse. The lawman's code was simple. This is my job, to keep the peace. And every day was high noon. Get your gun. I'll meet you in the street in five minutes. The legends of the American West are many. And now, their stories can be told. So you're the famous Wyatt Earp. Saddle up with American movie classics and the biggest stars in the western sky for Cowboy Classics. Next time on Cowboy Classics, Charlton Heston leads an all-star cast as a loner in the Old West. Will Penny on the next Cowboy Classics, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, only on AMC. Before a distinguished movie land gathering in Beverly Hills, California, which includes Ethel Merman and Donald O'Connor, the annual Photoplay Gold Medal Awards. Marilyn Monroe, honored for the most popular performance by an actress. Sue Carroll with studio head Y. Frank Freeman sees husband Alan Ladd receive from editor Fred R. Samus the gold medal for the most popular male performance. It was his role in Shane which earns the laurels for Alan Ladd. It is for Shane that producer-director George Stevens receives a special award. A popular performance citation for Audrey Hepburn in Roman Holiday is accepted by production executive Don Hartman. Filmdom's elder statesman Adolf Zucker received for William Holden his award, also for a most popular performance in Stalag 17. Recognition for Hollywood's outstanding artists. sat in the saddle, we all sat up a little taller. And because of him, we believed that good guys would always win. We were proud to be Americans. And there was nothing corny about it. He made us feel bigger. He made us feel better. Here's to you, Duke. Yeah! American movie classics, where the stars touch you. The classic movies were America's diary in a time gone by. Now you can step into the world of classic Hollywood every month with American Movie Classics magazine. This is Hollywood in all its glory. Each month we bring you the magic of classic Hollywood through spectacular rare photos and intimate portraits of your favorite stars. And with AMC Magazine, you'll never search for a classic movie again. Action! Each issue gives you a full month's program listings with detailed descriptions of every feature presentation. AMC Magazine also gives you an in-depth preview of the latest award-winning AMC original programs. In Bob Dorian's Classic Hollywood, Bob personally answers your questions about the classics and provides a behind-the-scenes look at the month's featured film. Nick Clooney brings first-hand experience in Hollywood to his column, Talk of the Town. Don't let this wonderful opportunity pass you by. To order and save 50% off the cover price, call 1-800-535-7700 or send a check or money order to the address on your screen. AMC Magazine. We cover classic Hollywood like no one else. 
Next on AMC, Orson Welles and Tyrone Power star in Henry Hathaway's dynamic adventure classic, The Black Rose, next on AMC. The Black Rose, starring Tyrone Power and Jack Hawkins, was filmed on location in Morocco. When location and filming moved to Marrakesh, they decided to travel by car. Well, where did you hear this story? On the way, there was a terrible storm that hit. Flash floods were every place. The bridge ahead of them was washed out, just like in those old movies with Boris Karloff. And there they were, trapped in this car, just trying to wait out the storm. And suddenly, a face appeared at the window. And there was a man behind the face, and he invited them to his restaurant, which was little more than a wooden shack out in the middle of nowhere. Well, what could they do? They were hungry, and it was raining a lot. Well, as they sat in front of the fire, drying their clothes out, their host appeared with dinner. Caviar, chicken Kiev, and baked Alaska for dessert. They stayed there in this place for three days. They were living like peasants, but at the same time, they were eating like kings. It turns out the man was a genuine Russian prince who was trying to support himself with his uh, fledgling restaurant. Well, when the bridge was finally repaired, this is three days later, uh, they drove to the location site. And needless to say, the, uh, the studio had been frantic during that time. They didn't know what happened to them, whether they were dead or alive, so they were very glad to see them. Well, sometime later, uh, Tyrone Power and Hawkins returned to this little restaurant in the desert for one more superb meal before leaving Morocco. Here they are in the Black Rose. <laughs> 